So the more I started to think about this matchup, the more I realized there's a big problem. That being that the only time we see each other in the same year is at Order 66, and that's the least amount of time we spend with any of them. We don't spend much time with um, Caleb at at 14 BBY, and we don't spend hardly any time, we haven't seen him at all, Cal, at 1 BBY. So if we just compare um, Cal during the events of the game with Kanan at the events of um, Rebels, then it's really not that fair because Caleb is already a year older than him, and then we give him like 14 extra years on top of that. We see him beat the Grand Inquisitor in Episode 1, not even just the second sister, and we even see him put up a bit of a better fight against Darth Vader all really early on in the series, and then by the end, he becomes very centralized in the Force and does some crazy stuff like after he's been blinded with that massive explosion that ends up killing him being able to hold that back I don't see Cal having any way to deal with him. So I wanted to go a little more in depth in this match from my last video and so we're going to be going over every version of these two characters that we see and the ones we don't and I'll give you my opinions on how they stack up to each other. So first off we have both of these characters as Padawans as we see them in the time of Order 66. And this matchup goes to Kanan pretty easily. He's a year older, so should have a year more experience and training. And we see him actively on the battlefield fighting along with his master, not just in a spaceship getting trained during the events of the Clone Wars. Next we have Cal from the time of Jedi Fallen Order and Kanan. Now we don't ever see Kanan during this time, so we can't assume much except for that he's somewhere in between the beginning of Rebels and the end of the Clone Wars. And really, since there are no feats for him, it goes to Cal. And now we have Cal from the time of Rebels versus Kanan as we see him in the show. Now we don't have any feats for him still, but it's highly likely that if he continued the progress he made in the events of the game, that Cal would have easily surpassed where he had been and thus surpassed Kanan at this point. But as we don't have any technical feats from him, I have to assume that it's like in my original video I was talking about, basically Rebels Kanan versus the game Cal, in which Kanan would win at that point. 